All right, so I decided to make a reroll guide, basically going over how exactly the reroll function works, and also what you would want to reroll for the best things, and also going a bit thanks to Pridewind's help on uh, this reroll guide, just showing you the overall character pool and who you might want to get from this one reroll multi. So basically, it is uh, something that can be done up to 20 times, giving you a guaranteed SSR, but still possible to get one more SSR. Uh, but it seems like you, you could only get one character SSR, and then the rest of the SSRs would be skill pages. So what you could do is you could save one multi and then continue summoning um, up to 20 times. So let's show it how it works. Basically, you're able to summon up to 20 times, and if you get a multi you want, you could, on the right, you could press that save button, and then the orange button to keep that multi, so then this multi is going to go on the left, and now that is your saved multi, and you could continue summoning, right? And once you're happy with it, once you're happy with the multi you get, um, at the end, as we can see here, I, wait, uh, because my last multi, right? So I'm able to click which one I want at this point too, and I keep the real one, which, uh, in hindsight, I would have uh, I would have definitely taken the William one, but um, you take I take the real one, and then you're able to keep that multi, which is really great. Uh, it's a really good system, and I don't know when you're gonna be able to actually do it in the game, right? Um, it might be a bit later. It probably won't be earlier, but it could definitely be later. So there is that to realize. Um, but overall, it's still going to stay the same for the units that you do want, right? Now, these are all the units that are currently on the banner, but I do want to mention stuff. Um, Red Yami, uh, Fuegoleon, these two, right? These two might actually be on the banner, but we do not know. Um, now, as for this list, I just disagree with one main thing, is Mars being in 2-star. I think he is 3-star for PvE. But I just want to kind of go over like a perfect reroll, uh, quote-unquote, right? So, um, it's kind of hard to just only mention uh units that are currently in the game but are going to be on canada now you got to realize um midnight sun units might be in the game and they might i don't they probably won't be on the reroll but we'll have to see for that i'm going to guess not um but if they are definitely go for either like raya or lich i'd say raya lich or fauna probably fauna because the main point of the game early on i'd say um or like the the team you want to build is a blue team Okay, the reason why is that the first gear stage you're going to be farming is the red gear stage because there's three good gear pieces, speed, attack, and defense, all three that you can make on one unit, whereas for the blue, it's crit, HP, and then, uh, well, uh, non-upgraded defense, right? And then for green, it's um, pierce, crit, and that's it, right? So these only have two gear sets, and then the other one is crit defense at some point. Like crit defense, come on. And then for this one, I forgot what the other one is, but it's crit HP and accuracy. They're not good, right? They're not as good. All three of these are good, and attack is by far attack and speed. Like you could easily make uh, someone's like things with just attack speed or speed defense, right? So you got to realize that. I think speed defense is for pretty much every single support, and then attack speed could be for a lot of DPSs. So definitely, um, you want a blue team to be able to beat it because. Colors matter so much, okay? Colors matter so much. Okay, so let's start talking about the units you want. I'm going to put timestamps to make it a lot more organized. So um, basically, blue units, like I've been saying, are definitely the best. And I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to put timestamps for not counting Midnight Sun and counting Midnight Sun. So not counting Midnight Sun, the best reroll to make your account progress the quickest is for sure Lotus, okay? Lotus is just that guy. He's going to be the best or one of the best in PvP early on especially. But now I'd say he's still very good. It's just that the the team's kind of evolved because of Noel. But without Noel, Lotus is still going to be that guy, right? He is going to be great. Um and if not, I'd say that I agree with these two both being a 3 star, but Mars not being there is wild to me. And why that is is because of just his capabilities and how much he's going to carry you through the, that red gear stage. He's going to tank everything. He's going to AoE stun, which is really good. He has an AoE stun on his combo, and he also has another stun. He tanks really well. He gives himself fortify, but that's on his ult, so it won't really count. But um, he also gives himself defense up on skill 1 if you have a skill page, right? He takes less damage, and he also debuff blocks. So he's going to be a really good reroll unit. Um, but I think for the reroll multi specifically, going for Lotus is the best, and then managing to pull Mars later is also going to probably be the way. Honestly, if you're able to pull all three of these, that would be great. 
Now, there is something to realize. Um, these two units exist, and let's say Midnight Sun is in there. Um, these guys are definitely going to be a banner you're going to want to consider. But mainly, I think that you guys are going to end up summoning on um, the Season 1 banner, right? This is probably going to be the banner you're going to be summoning on. So these guys don't really keep them into account. So as for reroll, um, the first multi, you should definitely probably either get Mars, Mars, uh, Lotus, or William. I'd say those are your three best options. Now, if you want the game to progress the quickest, choose Lotus. Did I say Mars twice? I meant Mars, Lotus, or William. So you're going to want to choose Lotus if you want to progress the quickest because he's going to make life very easy. Um, he has two AoEs. One is a skill one, so you could spam AoEs. Um, they both slow. One of them makes the enemies take more damage. And William's going to be there to literally enable every DPS in the game at this point, um, being Red Yami, uh, Fuego, I guess. Red Asta and Blue Yami all get enabled because of this Blue William. Also, um, not really Leopold, but Jack will too, but Jack's not really the best, right? Now, if you want any other units, um, except for those three, I would say that either Rades or... Uh, uh, not real. Rades, Rades could be good. Um, I don't really um, think you guys should go for these guys. Now, real, I, pr I started with real. I did not really like it, and I feel like he got very um, power crept, I guess, easily. But if you do get him, it's not horrible, depending on if you get skill pages. Now, of course, I got uh, the multi I chose was a skill page multi. The best way is to align this, like where you would get like Lotus and his skill page or Mars and his skill page. If you get Mars and his skill page, keep it, please. His skill page is like the best for a tank ever. Reduces damage up to 32% for him. So if you get like either William, not William's skill page, actually, you don't really like it. So... If you get Mars in his skill page, definitely keep it. And if you get like Lotus and like one of the debuffer skill pages, just keep it. Same thing for William, right? So those three units, if you get them and you get like maybe another SSR skill page, keep them all. Now, if you want uh, Rades, go ahead. Um, Charlotte, I'm just telling you right now, uh, there's reasons why, but let's just say you're not going to want to get her. Um, these four, please don't get, right? Sally's only good like until once like Noel comes out, I'd say. Um, and Rill... You could, um, I just don't think in terms of progressing quick, he's that good. But um, for these three, if you get any of these three, it's going to make your gameplay very smooth. If you get William, definitely um, amazing for PvP. Same thing with Lotus, same thing for Mars. But he is going to mainly be to progress you very much quicker into um, PvE. Now, there's other things too that we got to mention. Is that um, SRs exist, right? And you do get some SRs for free. For example, we get Red Asta and Yuno, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it shows here. We get Yuno, and then uh, I swear we also get Red Asta, but I could be tripping, right? So um, there's things to notice. And by the way, I'm going to mention which banners you're going to want to summon on in another video. Um, so just check that out a bit later. So um, SRs that you're going to want is mainly the ones in the tier list that are very high up. So two that I'd say could progress you very much quicker in PvP is if you get either or both Voltos and Fineral in your reroll multi or in the multis you do afterwards. If you're trying to get the perfect reroll, getting both of these and then like Lotus is by far the best reroll in my eyes. And then later on, you could pull William or Mars or both, right? If you get either William or Mars, you're chilling because Mars does have a replacement, quote unquote, for, in, with Soul. But I'd say that Mars makes life so much easier early on, especially when your teams are not fully built. So I'd say that like, honestly, William is like both very needed, but like if you can only choose between like, if you only get Mars or William, it's fine, right? But Lotus, I think is definitely a must in my eyes. Uh, I think that many people struggled without Lotus. So as for these two, these guys are gonna make your PVP life absolutely insane. As you can see, Pride One definitely is cooking um, with them both being SS and PVP. And you're gonna lock PVP maybe a couple days after launch, uh, if I remember correctly. Maybe like, unless you're like no lifing it, you'll get it day one or two. But if not, it's gonna be a couple days after. So these two are gonna be very, very, very important. Um, Cause they both, if you put both of them together, um, they're gonna go crazy. Very, very, very important. Um, Cause they both, if you put both of them together, um, they're gonna go crazy. And it, if you get one of them, it's better to only get Voltos in my eyes because Voltos um, is much quick. Voltos outspeeds basically um, a uh, Fineral. Uh, not really outspeeds, but basically when you get stamina to 100%, you, you go first. And uh, Voltos increases your stamina to 100%. Fenrir increases speed. And basically how this uh, meta is, or how the speed works, is stamina before speed. And because Voltos brings your speed, uh, your stamina up to 100%, he's going to go before Fenrir. But if you put both of them together, you're 
GG, right? So these two units, if you get both, it's um, definitely the best alongside Lotus. Okay, now that we got that out the way, if the Midnight Suns are on launch, um, it's going to kind of change things up a little bit. I think that in terms of just uh, if you need Lotus, right? Now, if the Midnight Suns are there on launch, you won't particularly need Lotus for his job because him double AoEing is going to be probably Fauna's job, right? So you might not want to go for Lotus and it might more so be Mars or William. That's how I see it. Because of course, I need to remember that you guys won't be pulling every single unit. So if the Midnight Sun's there on launch and Fauna is there, that would mean that you wouldn't need Lotus. Because Lotus and Fauna fill very much the same job of having two AoEs and being blue. So I could see definitely that like you wouldn't need Lotus um, if uh, Fauna's there. Now, if Fauna's not there, of course, Lotus stays, but that that's another thing. Now, the main banners you're going to be summoning on is probably the Midnight Suns if they are there and um, Yami, but... That, of course, uh, I'm going to mention more on launch, but of course, the Midnight Suns basically just change if you're either choosing like Lotus, um, William, or Mars. Now, you got to realize that uh, Mars is probably, like, in terms of early game, going to be very good um, because of the fact that he has an AoE stun and it's going to keep you alive if you're actually having trouble. Now, William's just going to enable every single DPS, so that's, that's also very cool. Now, um... Mars, I think, is definitely the most like um, useful unit in terms of just every single piece of content he's used in. PvP, one of the top uses. Hall of Illusions, the main hard game mode, used in because of his double stun. Grinding, amazing because he tanks everything and usually the bots hit him. So definitely, I'd say these three are good. Now, if you want someone who's, uh, I guess, like just really nice, Rod S2, especially if you're going to be... Um, building like a uh, slower team or like a team especially if i guess real is dominant he's gonna be able to stop stuns right so that's all good now then if the midnight suns are there um i guess there's only a couple things to say really the only difference is that um you might not want lotus for your reroll multi if you're going to be pulling for midnight suns because fauna basically does lotus's job and you don't need both particularly even if lotus is really good in the eyes of a free-to-play, I don't think that um, you need both really. It's one or the other for the most part. Now, if you want to have both of them, it's going to make it even better, honestly. Like, the main, the best blue team is Mars, William, Lotus, and Fauna for PvE, right? But if uh, you can't get all of them, right? If you're, like, more free-to-play and you can only get, like, two or three of them, then obviously um, picking another person... Uh, from this uh, guaranteed reroll is better than picking two units who have the same role whereas uh, William and Mars have very unique roles right so that has to be mentioned now except for that uh, there's not many things that like uh, the other Midnight Suns influence Veto isn't really good and Raya and Lich don't really have competition so you're gonna probably be summoning for them no matter what like they were like the first mini power creep before Noel came out so, like, you are going to be summoning for Lich and Raya if they are there. But except for that, there's not much more to say. If you get a skill page with... Let's talk about... Okay. Final details. Um, perfect reroll, I guess. Um, basically, would be if you could get uh, two of the three units here, right? That's one thing. And from that point also, is to uh, try to get Finral or Valtos or both. Because they're both going to be amazing for PvP support. And will make your life so much easier for PvP. Um, especially Valtos in the future. He's going to start like seeing much more usage. But um, at a later point when we get start getting more shields like Noel and Kohono. Then they lose their value a bit. But they are still very useful. So you got to realize that. And if you get either or of these, that is the first step. Now second step is to getting basically for this is more so the account. But being able to get two of the three units present here, um, I would say that starting a red team is definitely your first priority in the game. Or starting a blue team to, uh, to beat the red stage is your first priority because of the gears that are given by the red stage. So definitely know that. And from that point, um, if you get anything else, then you're just setting yourself for an even better account. Now, when the game comes out, um, as for these banners, which banners will be on launch, we will talk about them more in uh, which banner you should summon on video, which I like to do uh, like twice a season, depending on like uh, if there's two or three banners out. 
Now, if Red Yami and this is, I'll, I'll put a timestamp for this part. If Red Yami and Fuego are in the reroll pool, which I am not too sure about, I would say Red Yami goes into this class. If you really want him, you could for sure get him. He is a three star pick for me, and Fuego is a two star pick. He's not great, but you could have fun with him on launch until Noel comes out. But when the wall comes out, most DPSs lose their value, except for like Raya and Lich, which is very nice. At least they didn't lose their value completely. But Red Yami is definitely a top tier pick because he's good in PvP and... Uh, sorry, he's good in PvE and will be good in PvP for a bit, okay? So that's the thing. Um, Red Yami is definitely really good. And if he's there, great. Now, I don't see the Midnight Sun um, being in the reroll, but I'll also say this what if part, I guess. If they are in the reroll... Fauna, Lich, and Raya are all three-star picks, and Vettel's a one-star pick, okay? So, um, Lich is really good DPS. He will keep you alive, be good for PvP and PvE. Raya, if you, you want to get both of them together, Raya and Lich, uh, if you get one, you have to get the other, basically. I, I believe, like, their combo is just nasty. And Fauna is just really good for, a, uh, for like, AoEs. But I really believe, even if all these guys are three-stars, the perfect, like, reroll is definitely getting blue units to be able to rush... Um, the red stage, which I will mention more in a previous, uh, in an upcoming video. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions on what you should reroll for. I really believe that Mars, Lotus, William are definitely the best picks. And if it gets expanded, Red Yami and the Midnight Sun trio too, except for Beto. So yeah, anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.